Welcome back to the block, episode number two. What we got this week is a celebration of Hanukkah. We celebrate life, we celebrate life, we celebrate miracles. Every single one of us has a miracle happening every single day. All we gotta do is take a moment to see it. We have some laughter, and we have some deep conversation in an ice bath. And of course, training. I'm gonna be training with one of my most prestigious Muay Thai fighters, Pitbull, one champion, champion. He is a walking legend. He has a master's degree in sports science. So I'm super excited for that. Stay tuned, because like I promised, Fight News is here, February 8th, under the Eiffel Tower. I'm gonna show you some fire. Good morning. I'm on my way to the gym for the morning training. Nice thing about Thailand, the heat, is that I don't have to have, you know the people that have to get like an hour before to the gym to do their warm up and get in a small sweat. I'm just walking 10 minutes, already sweating, which is really nice. I don't have to feel like, oh, I need to warm up now. And I'm doing like stretching before and all that. But it's nice, the body temperature is already there. Morning. Morning. Oh, massage. That's an amazing drill for your uh, focus. For your precision, for accuracy, and for timing, and for movement. Amazing! Okay, part of the recovery on the road home. Damn. Okay. Thank you. About a, an hour and a half before training, getting some protein. Two months before my fight in Paris. It's gonna be an amazing new place right under the Eiffel Tower. So um, I'm really excited about that. So my, as far as my nutrition, I'm, I'm really, Pretty compliant, have to be. As I'm, I'm starting to go down and, and wait. Come as ready as I can and to not to have to cut too much um, fluids. Oh man, it's spilled. So I'm gonna put in my protein shake, some coconut water. I'm really excited, I'm working with um, Jack Doherty. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's with um, Fight Dietitian. Very professional, very experienced as well. Nice. Bought this in the morning. They peeled the coconut tits core. It's beautiful. I love coconut. Mm. Yeah. So many benefits to coconut water. Carbohydrates, magnesium, electrolytes, and the minerals. I mix it in with salt and lime and water and ice during training. Oof. Or post. Amazing. So refreshing. Yes. My protein. This is one fruit. Mmm. Bible. Mmm. That's also what I love about Thailand. Everything's so fresh, so accessible, so available. Walk down to the lobby, outside, everything. Don't have to go too far or very cheap too. Yeah, so basically I'm on my nutrition. I know in the morning I have my oats. And then post training I have um, some rice and protein, whether it be eggs or salmon or chicken, some veggies, and again, some more intake before training, and then dinner. More rice, you know, fuel up on uh, the carbohydrates for our next um, session, and um, more protein. People always think, oh, you're so lean, you probably don't eat any carbs or anything like that. I'm like, no, the opposite, on the contrary. Carbs is what fuels you. You need carbs to maintain your performance at the highest levels and to get to your peak levels. Training at 
the way I'm training now, I can't perform that way without carbs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do jab cross right to the chin without closing our eyes for precision and also to, um, to help our partner be accepting of the punches and to know our distance. And I'm going to move back and I'm going to get out of the distance and you're going to have to correct it by making a bigger step. So now we're going to also add a low kick, so we're going to go jab cross, low kick and everything is in, in no power, it's only to control the distance and to know where we are inside the ring and from one another. religious freedom and the certain victory of goodness over evil. Do I go for one or do I not? This is what Hanukkah is all about. Happy Hanukkah! today asking me when my last period was uh, about an hour ago like an hour later I start feeling cramps uh, hit me in training to survive Okay, so when I show you my sparring, was it okay? Very good. You sparred me when I said, I think it's fine. Oh, now, now I'm gonna die. Alright. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're rule breakers. Woo! So apparently I'm taking a risk being, nah. being in the back. <laughs> Doing Muay Thai is like, <laughs> taking a risk. No, why? What happened? It, say, tell me what you did. What happened the other day? I just kissed a car with my body. <laughs> it was just a little touch. I was saying hello. <laughs> and she's a professional bike rider back at home, apparently. Sure, yeah. So I actually did the same thing with my car, though. <laughs> I kissed uh, a bus. Oh. oh that's I, a... I didn't have insurance. So I'm, I'm lucky and happy that he just kind of took off and went. I was in the back, right? So all the damage, I took the damage. Oh, wow. Let's scare him. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, he missed his, his face expression. That's my bad. Still getting used to how to perform with this phone. Go kill Why do you know you were so good? Oh, yes, I because I was in Kibbutz for a while. I was there for two months, but I just greeting. Mm. You just see if they. What's your thought about the war now? Sorry. Oh, it's hard to say in the short term, short word, but uh, I want, I want everything will be good as before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I would support Israel. Yeah, and no you problem. were you were working in the farms in Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in kibbutz before. I was Which kibbutz? In kibbutz Dokpat. Dokpat? Dokpat. Mm, yeah, yeah in the... Kepula. Yeah, yeah. I was doing cow milking for two months. And now you're training here in Superbon um, training camp. because he was trying to confuse me say hello to someone behind me and for me to look and then yeah people uh, will come, come to me with that but I knew what I was doing so obviously I didn't uh, get into that professionalism <laughs> this morning I'm doing uh, my strength and conditioning session uh, run by and controlled by Amit Amit Levy Physio Pro, uh, Veltex, and I'm very pleased and grateful to ha having him and you know putting together my program because being here in Thailand it's uh, it can be challenging sometimes to implement strength and conditioning. The gym here knows how to do it I think with limited um, understanding, but with some sort of understanding. Um, and so I know also how to put that into the program as well, not to neglect it, it's super important. It gives me the physical abilities and also the mental, picking aside, um, would be the word, um, break, mental break from, you know, the intense, the intensity of, uh, of Muay Thai. So that was my minute break. Off to my session. Middle. You want the 32 kg? There wasn't a kettlebell, so I had to connect it to uh, the uh, rubber band. Especially with all my injuries, my past injuries, being 18 years in the sport, I've gained a lot of experience, uh, but I can't continue old school. It has to be um, very controlled and taking into consideration all my injuries and controlling that factor. Because if I continue, the way the ties go at it, you know, with their other 15 year olds, I won't survive, my body will just shut down. So I have to really listen to my body and use the experience that I've gained over the years. Hey guys, I want to share with you something. About a year ago, um, due to an injury, I was really um, working on my flexibility. And so I want to also think my amazing teacher slash athlete, um, amazing pole dancer as well, a mover, uh, Jonas Shabrin. So, <sighs> I would say pretty easily after training. <sighs> I 
after a year of really working on my flexibility. It's not perfect, but getting to this without doing much, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Satisfying. Boom. Again, not perfect, but we're gonna get there. And I haven't been working on it lately, but obviously it's been maintained through small uh, movements that I've been doing. Uh, not at the end range, but overall. So I'm very happy. <sighs> Thank you. Try, try to win me. Everything, I have to fix, 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 fix everything. Like get score, count all the time. Chop. Uh. Chop. What? Hey, hey! Look, same thing. One of the things that my nutritionist always tells me, or he told me at the, in the beginning, um, is that not all athletes, when they're um, during, not um, again, the top athletes shouldn't be seen, their abs shouldn't be seen all the time. What does he mean by that? That means you shouldn't be lean all the time because then you're in some sort of deficit. You're in some sort of bracket for a higher chance of injuries. But I do agree, yes, you can put on some muscle. Breathe and... Nice. And relax the body and the mind. And I think it's also different for women. So it's not a good thing to always be very low on your no, fat. No, I told you also before, yeah. like I was in the past, you would see in my pictures, first of all, as far as muscle, I was a little bit less. And my abs were always absent. Or, sorry, were always uh, vividly there. Mm -hmm. But I know I was in a deficit. I was in some sort of uh, lack of nutrition. So, uh, it's what great. I, I've been in like a, a deficit for a long time. Just to, first it was for like the, the fighting and to get in some certain kind of weight and I had to lose weight. So it was not unnecessary, but now it's like, so much controlling your thoughts on like, oh, did I overeat or did I, you know, yesterday I ate too much, I was in a, a surplus, today I need to eat less. It's like... What did you feel like you ate that you ate too much? I think um, it was for me, like in first it was, uh, I had to control my eating, like in general, I had like this, uh, kind of bi not binge eating because I was not like throwing up or like that kind of stuff but just like I had sometimes no control over the quantity quantity I was eating so and I was like figuring out why, why do I feel like I need to eat that much why can I not stop eating I think I found out like and that it's okay to what, what was, can I ask you what the reason was? I think I was like too hard and then when I would allow myself, I would like... You kind of went from one extreme to the next. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to give myself like every day, maybe, maybe a little bit of something that I... That you enjoy? Enjoy and it doesn't even have to be like unhealthy. There's a lot of healthy stuff I enjoy so much for, more than... I totally relate to what you're saying because I was completely there, you know, like went from one extreme to the next and younger you know eating everything mm -hmm. and from like junk food and everything to like okay wait a minute I want to be an athlete right I want to be professional yeah. so so this how do the, the, the professionals eat and so I changed my my diet completely and I went yeah. from one extreme to the next not touching anything with sugar not anything that I didn't prepare anything that was fried you know like mm -hmm. that was for good years and it was in an obsession obsession and I think that's also what helped me succeed mm -hmm. honestly but I was able to find within time my balance. And like, again, one of the things the nutritionist said, you can have that piece of cake and you can enjoy something that you don't have on a daily basis, but be aware of it and be aware that yes, it's sugar now, it's okay. And yeah. there are times and so.
it's 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 a phase I'm in now. Like I'm like figuring out what. Yeah, I I I know how to lose weight. It's actually it's, it's very easy. It's, it's very easy. plus and minus. And if you want to lose weight, then you have gotta be in the minus. Uh, if you want to have a health, happy and healthy life, then you have to be somewhere in between. Um, sugars are neither bad or good on its own. It's what you do with it. I mean, tomorrow I could be dead, so. Like I want to be healthy. I think that's that's the most the, the biggest it's mind thing. and body. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, like I do not mind saying no to cake or something at work because I know it will be the next day and the next day after. There's, there's plenty of occasions there will be like sweets and stuff, but I try to now to plan it and see it as a, a treat and do not count calories. Uh, just, just leave it there that day it will only make me unhappy so. right. you asked me the other day mm -hmm. whoa <laughs> oh Lily the icebreaker that's a good name the yeah. icebreaker <laughs> you asked me um, how do I see my performance right during training and yeah. how do I evaluate my performance so today for instance I came into like the sparring knowing in my head there are two things that I wanted to um, um, perform at. One was, you know, keeping my chin in because I have a tendency to like have my chin out. So keeping it in. And when it's out, I know it's there and it's like more of a faint, kind of like, right? Um, and and then, um, and there was some sort of like combination, you know, with an, we were doing boxing today. So it was a combination that I was looking for. Did it, did I, was I able to get that combination out and, you know, do what I wanted to do so um, that was like you know in your head when you're sparring that's where your your focus is and those thoughts of okay what do, what do I want to do right now yeah I think for sparring is probably like the hardest to maybe focus on like a goal because you're also a little bit you know depending on who you're facing and what kind of strategy are am I unable to use to with this person and what can right. I get out of it. Right. Sounds good. And then you get it out, the combination. I did a few times, you know, there was a time I had to like really find my timing, my rhythm. Um, I got, um, you know, sometimes it, it was mostly like, it was coming into what we were working with, Krujang, of, of coming with the cross and usually if they evade it, so with the right hand coming into an uppercut and then a hook as well. So, you know, I was, I, I think I was able to, um, to get that out. Many times it, it didn't land cleanly, but I was able to just do it and think about it and yeah, excel at it. Like getting it clean is just like doing it more and oh, more. Over and over. More. Repetition after yeah. repetition. But finding your spot and the right timing is harder than it will come. I really enjoy your eyes. <laughs> Just do it. Look it. Oh, they're teasing the little candy. Okay. You gonna put your head in? No. Yeah. <laughs> what? Was it a question? We're gonna count to five, and we're gonna go in. Like four? Yeah, but you go. In, take a breath. Hold your breath like two seconds, and then come out. I'm telling you, it'll like, like revive four. you. Like. Like four. Even, you know, take your feet out if you need to. It'll revive you. Yeah, you should try to move that. Oh, man! Woo! <laughs> okay, after morning training, I'm gonna go check weight. For a little under two months for the fight, uh, where I need to be 62 and a half. But hopefully, 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 I'll be fighting uh, in RWS. Bon will let me know. Um, so if so, I do also need to cut in a matter of short period of time um, to 63. So let's see. Someone's slipping.
So that's with the camera in my hand and with wet clothes. And I checked without the camera in my hand, it was uh, 66.9. So I was wet clothes. We're talking about 66 and a half after trip. Not bad. Morning. Friday afternoon, I had Muay Thai session in the morning. On my way to the gym, I'm walking instead of taking the bike. And I'm gonna head to a synagogue to Beit Chabad for the Sabbath, Chabot Shabbat. And so I'm not gonna come back. I don't wanna have to stop at the gym. So I'm going to the gym now. I'm gonna hit some weights, do some strength and conditioning. I had Muay Thai in the morning. Just kind of chill with the guys till, uh, till it's time to leave. I'll order a cab. No, 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 what no, what do you say? No, 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 I didn't have to go. Not you, not me, me. That no, I wear a dress? Yeah. You dress now. Not you. It's I, I go for holiday, like uh, same Buddha. I go for Shabbat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> But beautiful. Be oh, beautiful. A nice Shabbat Shalom. I missed it. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. 